Hi, you are welcome on the Continuity Channel. Today I shall discuss about the mechanical seal and its types. At first I tell you about the seal that is what is seal? For what is it used? And how many types of seal? Let's start. Seal. Seal is a component or device which is used to stop the leakage of fluid. That is, to stop the leakage from anywhere. The material which is used is called seal. And this process is called sealing. It is used to stop the leakage between two pipes joint. Leakage in the pump casing. Leakage in heat exchanger ETC. Now types of seal. That is how many types of seal? There are two types of seal as follows. First static seal and second dynamic seal. Now, I tell you about the static seal. What is static seal? A sealing component which is used to seal between two stationary parts is known as static seal. Such as gasket, o-ring etc. These are gasket and o-ring. It is used in the joint between pipe flanges, pump casing joint, heat exchanger joint etc. Now dynamic seal. What is dynamic seal? A sealing component which is used to seal between two sliding or rotating parts is known as dynamic seal. Such as gland packing, mechanical seal, labyrinth seal etc. This is the brief introduction of seal. Now, come on the main topic that is mechanical seal. I shall tell you that what is mechanical seal, what is its construction, and how many types of mechanical seal. At first I tell you what is mechanical seal? A mechanical seal is a sealing device which is used to prevent the leakage between the pump casing and shaft. It is installed in the stuffing box of centrifugal pump. Look at the picture. This is a mechanical seal. In this picture you are looking that there is a mechanical seal used in the pump casing to stop the leakage. If mechanical seal or gland packing is not used, then liquid comes out from the casing, through stuffing box. That is from clearance between the casing back plate and the shaft. In this case there can be a big loss. And if we have to pump any flammable or toxic liquid, then it cannot be possible. So mechanical seal is very very important part of the pump. Now, I tell you about the construction of the mechanical seal. That is how is it made? A mechanical seal is installed on the shaft inside the stuffing box to prevent the leakage through the clearance between the pump casing and the shaft. Mechanical seal has two rings a rotary ring on the shaft and a stationary ring on the stuffing box. The rotary ring rotates with the shaft and stationary ring remains stationary on the stuffing box. If there is no clearance between the stationary ring and rotary ring, then they rub against each other and damage itself. So, it is necessary to protect them from the damage. So, to protect from damage, clearance is maintained between them in the order of micrometer. The surface where they rub against each other, they are known to as seal face. The seal face where the stationary ring and the rotary ring rub against each other are the most important portions which act as the barrier to the liquid. If the clearance is too small, the friction increases and oppose the shaft motion and result in seal breakage. If the clearance is too large, the liquid will leak. So it is necessary to control the clearance in the order of micrometers to prevent leakage and seal damage. The clearance between these two rings is maintained approx 0.5 to 2.5 micrometer. This micro gap is maintained using springs and hydraulic force by pushing the seal faces together. While the pressure of the liquid between the faces, that is fluid film, push them apart from each other in the order of micrometer. Without pushing them apart, the both seal faces would be in full contact, this is known as dry running and would lead to rapid seal failure. This is the whole introduction of the construction of the mechanical seal. Now, I tell you about the components of the mechanical seal. 
There are various components of the mechanical seal such as gland, sleeve, rotary mating ring, stationary mating ring, O-ring, compression unit, rotary assembly, spring, set screw, and retainer. The material of which they are made is given in front of them. Generally stainless steel is used to make the metallic parts of the seal, such as gland, sleeve, compression unit, rotary unit, spring, set screw and retainer. And rotary ring and stationary ring are generally made by carbon, silicon carbide and tungsten carbide. Other materials such as cast chromium steel, ceramic are also used to make stationary mating ring. Look at this figure. This is the gland and this is the sleeve. This is the rotary ring and this is the stationary ring. This is the O-ring and this is the spring. And this is the set screw. Now, look at this figure. This shows the details explanation of the mechanical seal. This is the whole description of the components of the mechanical seal. Now, I tell you about the properties of seal materials. That is what should be the properties of the materials used for making of mechanical seal. It should have mechanical properties like hardness, low coefficient of friction, high modulus of elasticity, wettability, thermal properties like high thermal conductivity, low coefficient of expansion, high resistance to thermal shock, and chemical properties like high corrosion resistance. Now, I tell you about the advantages of the mechanical seal. Mechanical seal has following advantages, such as it saves 10 to 15 percent power, it handles wide range of liquids including acids, salts and rough particles, no wear on shaft sleeve, long working life, now, disadvantages of mechanical seal, such as high initial cost. It require more space than gland packing. Now I tell you about the types of mechanical seal. That is how many types of the mechanical seal? It is classified according to the design and arrangement. According to the design, it is classified into four parts. First, balanced seal, second, unbalanced seal, third, pusher seal and fourth, non-pusher seal. Pusher seal is further classified into two parts. First, single spring seal and second, multi-spring seal. Now, classification of seal according to arrangement. According to arrangement seal is classified into two parts. First, single seal and second, double seal. Single seal is further classified into two parts. First inside mounted seal and second outside mounted seal. And double seal is also further classified into five parts. First face to face seal, second back to back seal, third tandem seal, fourth double pressurized seal and fifth double unpressurized seal. This is the whole classification of the mechanical seal. Now, I stop the session. I hope you understand well. If you have any doubt then tell me in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.